Eichmann in Jerusalem, A Report on the Banality of Evil, is a philosophical and historical work by German-American philosopher Hannah Arendt, first published in 1963. It is based on her coverage of the trial of Adolf Eichmann, a Nazi official responsible for organizing the transportation of Jews to concentration camps during World War II. In Eichmann in Jerusalem, Arendt explores the nature of evil and the responsibility of individuals in committing atrocities. She argues that Eichmann was not a monster, but rather an ordinary bureaucrat who was simply following orders and carrying out his duties. Arendt suggests that this banality of evil is a result of a lack of personal responsibility and moral judgment, and that it can be found in many different contexts, not just in Nazi Germany. Arendt's writing style in Eichmann in Jerusalem is clear and straightforward, and her ideas have been the subject of much debate and controversy. Some critics have accused her of trivializing the horrors of the Holocaust and minimizing the responsibility of Eichmann and other perpetrators of genocide. However, others have praised her for her nuanced exploration of the complexities of human behavior and the nature of evil. Overall, Eichmann in Jerusalem is a powerful and thought-provoking work that raises important questions about the nature of morality, responsibility, and the role of individuals in the face of evil. While some readers may disagree with Arendt's ideas, the work remains an important contribution to the study of ethics and political philosophy.